So what we're looking at here is a completely published schedule. You can see the employees on the side here. So there are 12.5, that's how many hours Kenton is already scheduled for this week. And the thousand dollars is his wage being pulled in from whatever is on the profile. So as you can see, those notes hovering over within their employee profile, I can see whatever notes have been made. And you can also rearrange the employees on the schedule just by clicking these two little lines and clicking and dragging. Your indication that the schedule is published and live for the employees is that the shifts are white as you see here. The reason these shifts are red is because they conflict with the availability that the employee has had approved. So you can see right here that Kenton is not available this day, but he has that shift anyways. And all of the conflicts appear at the top left here, so you can easily see which needs to be resolved. Danny, this, this shift is showing red at the bottom here, the shift cell because this shift is longer than the overtime rules which I've set in the company settings. So 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., that's a 12-hour shift, and I've said anything more than eight hours in a day is overtime. Now to add a shift, you simply click the plus sign, choose the role the employee will be working within this um, account. We have different stations under the server role and then you choose the shift time, you can manually enter it, or you can use common shift times, which will populate as you add them. Any notes pertaining to the shift, so let's say Kyle here was training a new server. And save that, and Kyle will come into his shift knowing that he's going to be training a new server that day. Now this shift is in yellow because it is not live to the employees. That is your indication that, is in, that it is in draft mode. You can copy and paste shifts just by holding down the shift key and clicking and dragging. And now something to note within this view is that the headings here, server for example, the employees will only appear once on this whole schedule and they will appear under their primary role. So Travis, for example, works as a bartender and as a server. So he has a bartender shift scheduled, but he's also working as a server and that is his primary role. Within each shift, you have the ability to mark an employee as sick, no-show, or late. If you have a POS labor integration or you're using seven punches, the employees will automatically be flagged as late no show and sick have to be marked manually and that is viewable in a report which I'll show you in a bit. Once you mark the employee as such, that shift will change here. You can click and drag shifts around. The square will be green if that employee is able to work that role or it will be red if the employee is unable to work that role. These little corner flags you see, that is the availability being pulled into the schedule. And time off just appears um, in block letters saying time off across the shift cell. 